Windsor Christian Fellowship. So today we find ourselves in the fourth day of Holy Week, and this account takes place in Bethany at Simon the Leper's house. We uh, enter into the story where Mary, who is the sister of Lazarus and Martha, comes into the story and she anoints Jesus' head with oil. But not just any oil, this is a very precious oil, a very costly and expensive oil. And in the account, many people, the disciples included, are very upset at the use that this oil is being put to. But Jesus rebukes them and says, there is no better use for this oil to be put for my burial as she anoints my head with oil. And what is so amazing about this account and this historical perspective is that Jesus himself prophetically says that wherever this gospel is preached, wherever the good news of salvation is preached, that this account, this very act of Mary's love and devotion that was so costly will be told throughout the whole world. So no matter when you're telling the gospel, could you imagine Jesus saying that to you, that this account, what you've done for me, will be told throughout the whole world. And can I just encourage you today by saying that, you know, today as you go throughout your day, you may have to make some decisions today that may be very costly and thinking there might be a better use for them. But can I just encourage you today that there is no better use of your time, your talent, your energy, your money, whatever it is, when it's put to use for Jesus Christ and when you lay it all at his feet to serve him like Mary did, she laid out that oil that was very costly at his feet to give to him everything that she had that it is being put to good use and there is no better use for your time, your talent, your energy, your love and your devotion toward Christ. Because the very act that comes after as we progress in Passion Week is His ultimate love and devotion, the act of Him dying on the cross for us. So I hope this blesses you today. And remember that no matter what we do, Jesus remembers it all and He keeps an account of it up in heaven.